Hi. Hi, I'm Austin. I'm and this Lexi. Lexi. Welcome to Austin Lexi. From That was awful. Start again. Welcome to our first YouTube video. My name's Austin. And I am Lexi. And we are from Austin and Lexi on TikTok. Yes, yeah, so after so many people requesting it, we finally started the YouTube channel. We actually were just gonna answer some questions that everyone's been dying everyone's been dying to know about us. We'll get into a little risque questions too. Risque. Risque. Basically, we went across our TikTok videos and pulled down some questions that we saw constantly. This would be the best way to finally give you the answers. So you stop asking us. Okay. Uh, just like the lives, that's staying in there. Let's jump into the questions. How long have we been dating? This is like one of four questions that is always asked. And the answer, too long. Literally actually not that long. A year and a half, coming up. Would you say it's been a good year and a half? Yes. I mean like, we started dating, yes, of course. <laughs> Of course it's been good. Um, we started dating literally like we started dating in January 2020 and then COVID hit in March 2020. Like we were like, so oh my god, this would be the best year ever. Our entire relationship has been in COVID pretty much. But we're here now. But we're here now. We're happy. We're very happy. We love each other. I sometimes. I'm just joking. No. The most obvious question that's been asked hundreds of times is how did we get together? Now I will answer this for the last time. Then I never want to hear it again. I will do this one. I like telling this story. Yes, but every time you tell it, you make me seem like the bad guy. So I'm gonna tell it. So, okay, no so we had class together. We're both, we were, we went to uh, High Point University in North Carolina. Um, we were in the same major, we were both film majors, and our final course that we have to take for our film class is called Capstone, if I ever say that word. Um, a we really long, short film. film. Yes. A 10 minute film we had to make. The class was at 9 o'clock in the morning. Austin had class before this, because he always makes me say that. Austin had class before that 9 a.m. class. For me, I did not have class before. This was my first class of the day, right? So I woke my ass up at like 8.50 and showed up at like 9, 9.10 maybe, because I knew the professor, so like we were, we were tight. And I'd come in so tired. And who would, who would, who would come into class on, on batteries with so much energy? I think and, batteries and, 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 and is so underestimating much it. I drink five, five, drink five, five hour energies before class every single day no, you didn't. and I never told Lexi up until Stop this point today. Yeah. No, you didn't. How do you think I was so awake every morning? Like actually or not. I, like, I would drink at least that. two. You cannot so that's like you die. I, I would I would just take a scoop of G Fuel and just drink a flat out. That, no, I, would, no water. that I would believe. So he would come into class very early in the morning with so much energy and who did he sit next to? Okay, wasn't it like one who, time? Who did he, wasn't it like one no. time? Who did he sit next to? Me. So naturally, I hated it. He was annoying. He was obnoxious. He wouldn't shut up talking to the person next to him. So like, I just did not like him. And that's, that's how I was Now here's my side of the story. I walk in, I see this beautiful creature. I think I'm never gonna speak to her. She's never wanted to talk to me, and she hates me. I got all three right. Then next thing I knew, we end up in Jack's room one day. Our friend, Jay Live. No, you didn't. You're a horrible storyteller. Okay, so a couple months later in the semester, um, we lived in the same dorm building. So I got into a huge fight with my roommate at the time, Rihanna, if you watch this, I love you. I was going downstairs to hang out with my, my other friend, Jack. And he's like, oh, like, hey, my, my friend Austin's gonna stop by really quickly. Lo and behold, a couple minutes later, there's a knock at the door. I will remind me to never say lo and behold again. There's a knock at the door. She saw a shining light Shut up. shining underneath. Shut up. 
There's a knock at the door. <laughs> Angels singing. Shut up. And it's it's Austin, and he walks in, and I'm like, oh, you're the kid from my capstone class. And he's like, oh, you're the girl from my capstone class. And then we actually became friends. Like that was our only like time meeting each other in a non Classroom learning setting. environment. I feel I like I remember actually... saying to you though, like when we first met in Jack's room, that I'm like, you probably hate me. I feel like I've definitely said something along the lines I had about how like me having so much energy in the morning. And I probably was so fake and like You you were. No, I, I can tell. I no, you were so you. fake. You were so actually, fake. But I remember like, I remember leaving like Jackson and I was like, wow, like he's, he's pretty cool. Like I like him. He's cool. He's a cool dude. I just don't understand how after that, like we became friends. Like were you, you were just in Jack's room. I feel like we just really vibed. We, oh, no, no, no. I actually needed help editing or finishing my project, like my short film. So he kind of offered to, to like help me with my camera work. I could use his computer cause he had like the nice like editing setup. So I spent a lot of time with him like watching for the stop it i hate when you say that i did not watch you sleep stop telling people you that. photographed it because you were sleep talking well, why oh, 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 of oh, course oh. i'm gonna videotape somebody sleep talking You didn't even offer a cup of cuddle afterwards. I spent a lot of time in his room because of the project and then we kind of just developed like a really good friendship. And that's how we met. And now we're here. So that brings us to our next question. Another very highly requested question. Who made the first move? Ooh, can I tell this one? And how I love happen? telling this one. I'm doing it. She came to visit me in New York. Keep in mind, I always invite people from school to come visit me. No one ever does. She was the first person, besides Layton, to ever come visit me at home. Well, okay, no, I was actually, I was doing a job in Connecticut. So it was like two hours from like Boston to Connecticut. And then like, it was like an hour and a half out to Austin. So I was like, okay, like I'm already in Connecticut. I'm already halfway there, so I'll go. So that was a partially a reason why I went. You could have just left it as that you were cute and you wanted to see me, but I get it. It happened to be that the one weekend she was coming was when we were doing the holidays with my family. We get together with my family, she meets everyone. The entire time, everyone was asking why we weren't dating. And my response every single time was, I'm not her type. Until this day, I'm not her type. Not my type. I don't know why she likes me. He's not my type. I'm just not. Oh, so, something went down. I, I was all upset. There were some problems going on. Lexi took me outside to try to calm me down while we we're out to dinner with my family. And she tells me, she's like, while, while I'm upset in the car, ranting about something, she goes, you want to hook up? I look her dead in the eye and I go, I ain't into some petty <laughs> flat out. And she, she's looking at me like all upset, like trying to calm me down. She's like, Austin, stop petty. I, like I, I act like I'm offering. I'm like, nah, I'm not into it. True story. True story. Then we get out of the car and she goes, that kiss is still on the table. And I go, I'm not into some petty <laughs> And I walk away. Didn't think anything of it. Then we were texting nonstop, nonstop. After she left the next day, it, it, it was getting a little flirty. What are you talking about? I I, I can't. You're telling you're them. telling some hey, weird we're parts. We're getting of the story. we're getting we're getting we like the weird parts. Like no, no, you're. Parts. So now I go to visit her. She's hitting on the waiter, talking to another guy, like still telling me I don't have a shot. So at one point, like I'm all hyped here. I'm like really into her, and at one point I just get I'm just like, you know what? It's just not gonna You're happen. You're making me seem like a I'm loving. I'm in love with this girl and it's just not gonna happen. Next thing I know, she made a move on me. You're, 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 a, you're not. 
So I visited him in New York, which is what he was talking about. And then about a week and a half later, he came to Boston to visit me. At the time I was talking to a couple different guys, which I'll, I think I'll, I'll think I'll touch up on later. I Who might be watching? I don't <laughs> let him go go for it. <laughs> um so like one night we were sitting in my room on my couch and I was watching him talk about how much he wanted to, how, he, how much he wanted me to be successful in life. Like, just like showing me that he actually cared. And before this, when he said, you know, I was getting flirty before, whatever, I used to go like back and forth thinking like, do I want to hook up with him? Do I not want to hook up with him? Would it ruin a friendship? Like, I don't know, like, is he my type? Keep in mind, I was also talking to other people. So I was just like all over the place. And I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm watching him talk about, about me, how much he cares about me. And I was just like, you know what? You know what? I took his phone. Oh, what did I say? I said, I just, I just have to try something really quickly. Just, yeah. just really, really quickly. I took his phone out of his hand and I put it to the side. And I literally just mounted him. Flat out. Just grab me. And my, my jaw drops. That's literally like... My mouth is in it. He was a horrible kisser. I, I, was so horrible, much, I was horrible at a lot of you're things. You're so much better now. That's 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 how the first move was made. Yeah, and, and honestly, something interesting about that whole situation, I never speak about my feelings to anyone, ever. When it comes to girls, when it comes to relationship, never talk about them. But Lexi, like I was obsessed. Like I was locked in. Like day three, I, I knew she was different than anyone else I've ever met in my life. And I just wanted to be there to take care of her. And like, there's like my friends like will tell you today that she was the only girl I ever spoke about. I, I ever openly said like, I really like this girl. How do I not mess it up? Only one ever. That's so cute. I really cared about you. I really care about you. I love you. I love you, baby. Even though you're with four other guys. At the time, I was speaking to multiple men. And then she decided one day, and she said, you know what? I don't want I to. literally, like, I felt kind of bad. Like, that was really, it was bad on my part, but I also, like. No, it was it, not. No, it, Stop. It was, no, no, no. no, no. It, yes, it was. I act like, you know, I like, I was interested in all of them. Okay, yes. So, but no. the way they treated you was worse than what you did to them at the end. Ryan was nice. He just took it badly. They were all rude at the end. They were all beyond rude at the end. Not that I'm defending them. After we hooked up that first time, it, we were friends for about a week still. And then we kind of decided like, okay, like we want to start a relationship. But at the time, it, it transitioned from friendship to relationship unexpectedly, like so quickly out of nowhere that I had to tell these guys like, hey, I'm dating somebody. Like, I can't talk to you anymore. And they were all like, like what? Like, so I basically told them, yeah, I'm dating somebody out of nowhere. So like, yes, they have a right to be, like I would be mad too. Kevin was the one that was really mad. Funny story actually about that. Um, so he met Kevin. He was, Kevin came to High Point, like before Christmas break. Mm -hmm. And like, this was like right before Austin, like I went to go visit Austin. Picked Kevin up at like the front of the dorm building. And I was saying bye to Austin, like on the way down, like the times like interlapped from me getting him and me saying bye to Austin and Jack downstairs. So like I brought Kevin with me to say bye. And I like, I hugged, like I hugged Austin, it's like I hugged Jack. And that was like the only encounter that Kevin had ever had with Austin. So when I told Kevin, hey, I'm dating somebody, he goes, is it the boy from Christmas that you hugged? I was like, like he literally knew, like he could tell in my hug to him before we were even dating, before I went to New York, like before anything, he was like, I could tell by the hug that you gave him. We, we are soulmates. It, it wasn't meant to like, be. He knew before I knew. It just moved so quickly. It did move very quick. It, it was like, it was all meant to happen. Like the minute the spark was lit, the fires went up in flames. 
and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. <coughs> Ruined a good moment. What's one of our funniest memories together? I got one. Ow. Sorry. Pull my hair. <laughs> so I'm terrified of roller coasters. Absolutely terrified. We went to Universal. So we went to Universal and they have a new ride. I had just gotten Austin to Harry Potter. They just released a new ride called like Hagrid's Magical, Magical Motorbike, Motorbike Adventure. Bike Adventure. <laughs> we sat like they have like a check-in time because like it was so popular. So like you needed to like put your name in online and like go like during your scheduled time and like so we go, we check in, and we're walk like the whole entire thing is like a castle. I don't know if you've ever been to Universal, but like the Wizarding World, sick. We're walking like up this huge outside pathway, and we're we see this like huge roller coaster off to like the side. I'm like, that's not it, right? It it was that was it. I've that, never been so scared. That was it. And then when we get there, it wasn't normal roller coaster seats. It was a motorcycle and the sidecar. So I sat in the motorcycle. And when I say like, I I had no protection. Like I, I was exposed. There was nothing around me, like nothing, like nothing to keep me from going. Like I, I literally, if I let go, I would have gone like this. All I had was the seat belt around my waist and handlebars. Austin in the sidecar to the ground and you know, it's got like the little encasing, so he's surrounded, he's like all together, all comfy. He's just got everything around him to keep him safe and protected. But no, not me. To make matters worse, we were in the front row. <laughs> it just says, you don't even get a break. He says, yay! Sorry. It says, yay! And it's, oh um, I'm still having PTSD, but it was one of the best roller coasters I've ever been on. We stopped by like the picture thing because I, I really wanted to see the picture that we got and it's actually the, f the funny, we had to buy it. Like we never buy these, but it was literally so funny. It was for the memories. I literally look like I'm, I, I, I look like I'm having so much fun and then Austin's just... Scared. <laughs> I feel like the mask was going in my mouth. No, that was me. I, oh. My mask was going like in my mouth. And then we're literally, this was like the same trip. We were at Disney. And then we got stuck on another roller coaster. It was like the mining, the snow white the, the, the snow white one. So at the end of the ride, there's all this, there's like this house with all the animatronics like singing their song. And it's a song on, on repeat for like 15 minutes, right? That's where we got stuck. I started singing, um, so I think we should wrap it up with one last question, because yes. it's something else that we see a lot also, in the lives. I'm very... What is your favorite tattoo on me? Um, the always be happy one. Oh Come my on. arm! Yeah. My arm. Should this I? is it. I'd flex, flex, but there's nothing to flex. Oh, flex. It's just armpit hair and Look skin. At that. It's armpit. There. See. Well, this tattoo was dedicated to my mother who passed away three years ago of cervical cancer. I know how proud she would be here today to know that I have someone like, like Lexi because she would have adored her. Now, my favorite tattoo on you. Let's see. Maybe. 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 I'm gonna have to go with the rose. The rose? I, th I think um. it's sexy. Like, I'm not, I'm not like, Ooh, I'm not a big tattoo guy. The like, tattoo I don't even, that like, nobody ever sees. Yeah, no, no, like, I'm not a big tattoo guy. Like, I'm not even a big tattoo guy for myself. Let's see if we can pull But, like, out. there's very few times where I really, really like a tattoo. And the rose on Lexi. It's that. I love That's it. my rose. <laughs> you never. I love it. You can never see it. It's in such a. Like. In, in my special spot. place. <laughs> Backstory for that, not as meaningful as Austin's. My best friend, um, she also has a matching one. Shout out Casey, if you're watching this. I think that's it for us today. But thank you 
to everyone watching this right now for watching our first ever YouTube video on Austin Lexi. The 1.7 million people who watch our TikToks every other day, we love you guys, appreciate you guys, but this is our next step. So you guys get to see more of us, get to know more about us, and we get to give you guys more content. So if you guys would comment below, future YouTube ideas. I know Lexi has a lot written down, but we want to get your perspective and show you guys what you want to see. Hit that like button, hit that share button, drop a comment below, and turn on that bell notification. In case you don't know when we're uploading, you'll get a notification for it. But we are going to aim to upload every Wednesday. Anything else you want to say to lovely people? No, that was kind of intimidating. I think we should like come up with a slogan. Like how Walter Cronkite had, and that's the way it is. I think we need something like that. Get out of here. Go on. Shoot. Shoe fly, shoe. That's not a good ending. You can't just tell our our fans to go to go away. <laughs>